Hello? Uh, we are in the old Prosper Bar and Grill, also used to be the Prosper Schoolhouse, and also used to be somebody's home. Um, I don't know how he lived here. He was in a wheelchair, and you have to get up steps in here, which we, is crazy. So. We really uh, got to be careful how yeah. they do it, but we're just about to do a portal session now. With the Necrophonic app. With the Necrophonic app, again by Keith Weldon. Good app. Loving it. Absolutely Good stuff. It. So we're gonna we're gonna get 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 going with the portal now. Who's here with us? Here. Thank you. What's your name? Can I offer you a drink? Come and join us at the bar. Would you prefer, yeah. would you prefer a beer or whiskey? Hello. Are there any students here that used to be a part of the school when it was a school here? Hello. Could could possibly one of the one of the students come forward and tell us their name? One of the old owners. I can be your teacher, I can be your bartender. Take your pick. Do you like us being here? How many spirits are here that reside here? Book. Do you like do you like us being here? Would you like something to eat? Maybe a smoke? I got some smokes. Oh no, I ain't in the car. I had some smoke, sorry. <laughs> what is your favorite room? Oh, I mean. We have to go walk around a little bit. This, be, this used to be where the party was at. Can we interest you in a uh, drink and a meal? I know this may be hard for you to use this, as they would say. I wonder if these letters and numbers on the floor are from the old school. Yes. That would be interesting. They could be, couldn't they? Yep. Are any teachers here that used to teach here, perhaps? Or perhaps you could tell us what room to go into. As I know that you like communicating with us. Anne, hi Anne, did you follow us here too? Anne again. I like when you join us. Anne. Hi, Anne. 
You come through a lot. Is there something you want to say? Did you introduce yourself to the other spirits here? Ann, are you a new spirit guide for either myself or Sean? Yeah. Your. I thought I heard. That's interesting. Beyond the ball. Be careful, watch for holes. We got a new bartender here for the ladies. He's British. Oh. Any ladies here that like to a drink? He's got a nice accent. Come speak with me. <laughs> What's your favorite drink you used to be here? Thirsty. Thirsty. You're thirsty. Okay. What? What's your poison? Do you like a beer? Well, we have to go soon. But we again, we have we've just we've just got a little bit of a touch coming in here. Come and speak with us, spirits. Here. Come and tell us your names, nice and clearly. Spirits, because you seem to know how to use this, and I've not, we've not communicated long. But show the other spirits how to use this for me, please, Anne. We're going back. Well, if you've come through, we thank you very much. Appreciate your time. We'll yeah, we'll come back. Yeah. Okay. Can you say bye for now? Say bye, Sean. Thank you. Let me join spirits. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. We wish you peace, love, and light, and thank you for communicating with us. Pause it before you pause it. Before you pause it. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone for listening to this session, but I'm going to say this now. Don't be going into places on your own. Don't be doing what we're doing because it is dangerous. It is very dangerous. Well, again, we just I've been here the second time I've been to America and I've seen this place and I've always said, I want to get in this place. I want to get in this place. And the doors were wide open. The doors were wide open. So, again, don't be doing this at home. So, from me, Sean. And myself, Nicole. Ciao for now, people. Peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs>
But anyway, so the first time Sean came to America, he saw this place and he was dying to go in it because it was abandoned, number one. Number two, it looked creepy. So he just really wanted to go in there so bad. And I told him, I said, well, I don't know who owns it, so I can't get permission to do it. Uh, the second time he came here, we had an extended trip planned out for Pennsylvania and Ohio. And when upon coming back from that trip, we decided that we were going to go ahead and stop off there, maybe do an outdoor session. And we came to realize that the door was actually wide open. Um, I do not recommend anybody breaking and entering or, or trespassing or anything like that. Um, so, you know, if you're doing sessions, please don't just like go in somewhere like we did because it's actually against the law and if you get caught you can get in a lot of trouble doing it but Sean wanted it so bad and I was just like all right we're gonna do this all right we're gonna go in we're gonna do some quick sessions and we're gonna get the hell out of here so we went in um and captured what you guys have already witnessed um via the three sessions that Sean has completed um I am going to be doing a future session uh, at the Whispering Pines myself. However, it's going to be a follow-up because Whispering Pines has now been destroyed. Uh, we were the only paranormal team to ever enter the building to do an investigation. We were lucky to get what we got, and it seemed like we got a lot. And so I'm really glad we went in there. And so for this future um, upcoming follow-up video it's going to be to find out if those spirits are still around you know because the building's been tore down uh, did, were they attached to the building itself or just attached to the area or the land so that's going to be our upcoming well my upcoming video um, which you can find on my page which is Thomas Paranormal um, on my YouTube and um, hopefully Hopefully I can get some interesting stuff, maybe some validations of some spirits that were there before that we uh, actually received communication with. So uh, be sure to check out the photos on, on the end of this video and uh, you'll see the before and afters of the Whispering Pines. Thanks.